This chapter is all about time, and we're going to talk about using logical reasoning. This is Lesson 7.2. So as we said in the previous video, there's 60 seconds in one minute. And one minute is about as long as it would take us to count to 60. Five minutes is about as long as it would take us to count to 60 five times. And there's 60 seconds in one minute, and there's 60 minutes in one hour. So which activity would take the most time and which would take the least time? We can match the activity to the time it might take. So let's look at the times and the activities we have here. We have two minutes, two hours, or two days. We have go camping, we have brush teeth, and watch a movie. Which one of these things do you think would take two minutes to do? We would draw a line to connect them to each other, okay? So, would it take two minutes to go camping? No, that wouldn't even be time enough to set up the tent, would it? Would it take about two minutes to brush teeth? You know what? It would take about two minutes to brush teeth. So we can draw a line to connect those. We've got two hours and two days. So what would take about two hours to go camping or to watch a movie? Two hours, would that be enough to go camping? Or would two days be better to go camping? You wouldn't watch a movie for two days, would you? No. So two hours would be watch a movie and two days would be go camping. All right, let's try this again. How long does it take to do each of these activities? We've got seven minutes, seven hours, and seven days. We've got a school day, make a bed, or one week. Is a school day seven minutes long? Remember, a minute is about how long it takes to count to 60. If you counted to 60 seven times, would the school day be over? No. So it's not a school day. Does it take about seven minutes to make a bed? If you said make a bed, you're right. It does take about seven minutes to make a bed, maybe even five minutes, right? How about seven hours? Is seven hours a school day or one week? Do you know? Well, if you said seven hours is about a school day, you're right. And that means that seven days is one week. There's seven days in one week. The days are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Seven days in one week. All right, let's try it again. Now we've got one minute, one hour, and one day, and we've got mow a lawn, go to a museum, or zip a coat. Which one do you think would take about a minute? About the time it would take to count to 60? Well, we wouldn't be able to mow a lawn in the time it takes to count to 60, right? And we wouldn't want to go to a museum for only one minute, so it would be zip a coat. What about one hour? Would it take about one hour to mow a lawn or go to a museum? It would take about an hour to mow a lawn. You wouldn't want to go to a museum for only one hour. There's a lot to see. That would take a whole day, wouldn't it? So we would match those. See? All right, so let's do some critical thinking. Which activities take about the same amount of time? Which of these three take about the same amount of time? Eating lunch, playing a game of baseball, or taking a shower? How long does it take you to eat lunch? Does it take you as long as it takes to play a whole game of baseball? No. Can you eat lunch in the time that someone takes a shower? Yeah, you probably could. Depends on how long they hang out in the shower, right? Some people take long showers, some people take short showers. 
but it would be about as long as it would take to eat a lunch. Play baseball, that would take a couple hours, wouldn't it? Because there's nine innings. All right. Let's put these in order from the least time to the greatest time. We have buy groceries, tie shoes, or turn on a light. So we want to put the least amount of time first. Which one can you do the quickest? Can you buy groceries, tie shoes, or turn on a light the fastest? If you said turn on a light, you're right. That would be number one. That just takes a couple seconds, doesn't it? Then what would be the next one? Buy groceries or tie shoes? Which one takes the least amount of time? If you said tie shoes, you're right. That only takes about a minute or two, right? To tie both of them. And buy groceries, well, that takes a little time because you have to go in the car and you have to go down the aisles with the grocery cart. You have to pay for it, put it in the car, come home, right? So that would take the greatest time. So this is the order you got. You did it right, okay? So we've been comparing how long it takes to do things, and we've been figuring out how long about a minute is and how long days are. We're going to start talking about hours in the next video. We're going to study a clock and look at the hours on a clock, all right, and the parts of a clock. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.